King of hospitality, come greet ya. He's always with a smile, cause he pleased to meet ya. He keeping it 100, he keeping it peaceful. The question is the name of the show. Damn your people. You got the word, let the whole world know. Damn your people. Life's a party, man, y'all welcome to go. Community is family, that's how we grow. When the king of hospitality step your way, he just want to know what everybody got to say. Talk and laugh to go a long, long way. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 By the people TV. Every week some TLC from TYP. Bring laughter to smiles and join your night. One touch from the wand that might change your life. When the king of hospitality says thank you, he not being funny, he just being grateful. He know you know what time it is when you hear this song. You better get your people's them your people's is on. Okay? <laughs> okay. 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 What do you say? What do you say to Mr. Gary, the king of hospitality? Why am I the king of hospitality? Because I can take you where you want to be, and I get to take you to who you need to see. And right now, we want to do a great book shout out to the people of Columbia, Missouri. That's exactly right. Right now, you see we're at Frederick Douglass High School. Now, what does that mean? That means that all of the African Americans here in Columbia, Missouri, at one time had to pass through this piece back in the day. It was called Frederick Douglass High School. So, what do they have the nerves to do? They have the audacity to have a big reunion. And they call it the Black and White Ball Weekend. The Black and White Ball Weekend is full of heritage. It's full of people coming back home. They call Columbia home once upon a time. So maybe you went to school in Columbia. Maybe you grew up in Columbia. Or maybe you passed through Columbia. Whatever it is, all roads are leading to Columbia, Missouri. And it's called the Black and White Ball Weekend. So we're here to get it in, to have some fun, to pay homage to Frederick Douglass High School and the people, the pioneers from back in the day. We want to send a shout out to the Tap family with Wanda Faye. Albert. want to send a, a big uh, shout out to all of the barbers and beauticians. It's a lot of small businesses that it's in Colombia that's making this thing go around and around and upside down. So what do you say? What do you say? Let's get into the action here in Colombia at the Black and White Ball Weekend. Okay. <laughs> okay. What do you say? What do you say? It's Mr. Gary the King of Hospitality. Turn down for what? I got my people. Let me tell you something. When I graduated from this school called University City Senior High School, Black and go big and bold to the day I die. I came to this place called Columbia, Missouri. Black and gold, big and bold. And guess what? You know when you show up, you show out, you meet people. Sometimes the people are from Chicago. Sometimes the people are from Kentucky. Sometimes the people are from the Boot Hill. But sometimes the people are from St. Louis. And guess what? Sometimes they're from right here in Columbia, Missouri. I got my people. Right. What is hey. up? Right. Hey. What do you hey. say? What do you say? Tell everybody who we have with us right now. Andrea Martin. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something to you. Mm -hmm. You might be Andrea Martin now. But let me tell y'all something. Mm -hmm. See, this is what happened with your people. Your people get married, they want to change their name. Yeah, yeah. Angie Tap. Who am I? Who am I? Angie Tap. Right, I got you. Oh my God, what do we have with us? And Robin Tap. Oh let me ask y'all something. You all, the Tap family, holding it down for years. Mm -hmm. Angie, mm -hmm. if we don't go all the way back, do you remember? We go all the way back. Yes, I remember. Oh my God, to where? What we go back to? It was my freshman year. Ooh. At MU. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh my Cutting God. up. You was my boy. Oh my God. Oh, he was my boy. We turned yes. that campus upside <laughs> yes. down and yes. inside out. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh, I don't even want to say how long ago that oh was. Oh my God. Well, don't say it, girl. Look, it's TV. <laughs> it was it was recent. But let me tell say. you something. Mm -hmm. When I left Columbia, I came back to Columbia. Mm -hmm. The one thing I can say is your family always, the tap showed me so much love. Your mom, your aunts. Oh my God. Oh my God. Let me tell y'all something. I don't write this material. Everybody, who do we have with us? Frida Tap. Oh my God, let me tell y'all something. I was just talking about all the love that the Tap family took me in, showed me when I was here. And you come over here talking about, do I know you? Robin, get over here. Robin, you was over here. Oh my God. Robin, all right, let me tell y'all something. Robin, what does this mean to you to come back? Your family has been a staple here in Columbia for so many years. To see everybody coming out and having so much fun, what does this mean? It means a lot. Yeah. Uh, my mother, Wanda Faye, was all into this. Yeah. Probably helped start some of this and, yeah. you know. Oh my God, yeah. oh my God. Let me tell you something. From the daycares, to the community awards, to the community activism, to everything that you all have been. Somebody right now does not know how important family is. Take them to school. 
It's very important because your family's always going to be there for you. Your family's always. And hey, what if your family ain't there for you? What does that mean? That means something done happened. And that means that you ain't been there for something your family. Something happened and you, you ain't understand? right. Exactly. But guess what? You have the opportunity to get it right, to get it together, don't That's you? That's right. Now, don't put me on TV. Girl, it's too late. All that talking you've been doing, you've been doing on TV. Let me tell y'all something. What do you say when he says, Mr. Gary? I got my people. Where is Amelie? Is Amelie coming? Yeah. Oh, my God. Do y'all see? Oh, my God. I see mama's uh, plaque on the wall. I didn't, but I'm going to see it then. Yeah. Oh, my God. Let me tell y'all something. What do you say? What do you say? I got my people, you all. Amelie, what's up, girl? Mm, mm. Let me tell y'all something. Tell everybody who we have with us. Uh, okay, we have uh, Frida. No, no, hold on. Oh, uh, I'm Angie. sorry. Come here for a second. Come here for a second. I need y'all to come here because I need to rob and y'all come here. I want to show y'all something. Come over here. Now my shirt wasn't like that. Okay, your shirt. Sure. I want y'all to look. Look. Look at them right now. Do y'all see these family jeans? Look at them. <laughs> look at them once. Look at them twice. Look at them. And look at the aunties looking like the, the daughters and the nieces. You understand what I'm saying? Elmo, I hear, I hear you. you. I hear you. I'm doing fine. It's oh good God. seeing oh, you. It's always good to see yes, you. Coming yes. Coming back to Columbia, coming to this Black and White Ball weekend. Good we were just talking too. about family, how important family is. How important is community events like this for the family? Oh, I think this is very important. Mm -hmm. People get together. They get to socialize. They get to see each other because you don't get to see each other every yeah. day. Yeah. And people are are just passing away something yeah. fierce and you know this is just wonderful I've seen some of my old friends from way back when mm -hmm. yeah, that I've gone to school with and guess what you saw you saw me girl I saw Gary ah! Hey, listen, what do you say? What do you say? I am with the Taps. I am at the Black and White Ball Weekend in Columbia, Missouri. Come get your people, okay? <laughs> okay. Hey, what he says, Mr. Gary. They told me do not put them on TV, but Myra G just keep talking. And guess what? Everybody got one in their family. Myra G is the one. So listen, everybody who don't want to be on TV, hold your head down. But I got to get over here to Myra G. Hell, Myra G is just over here talking, and she got a French fry in her mouth, talking about I got chicken. And can I ask you a question? Yeah, we do chicken right out here. Myra, what is going on with you? <laughs> what, what family is this over here, Myra? I'm the good family. I, I'm, good family. Yeah, I'm down south. I love y'all. Everybody, everybody, everybody. Myra everybody. G. My <laughs> Everybody, everybody, Myra G. Listen, Myra, it's the Black and White Ball Weekend. What does this mean for, for oh, you let me, Myra, you're going to sit down and stand up, Myra I'm stand G. I'm standing up, I'm standing up, we're going live. Okay, we're like going live. Uh, yeah. Myra G, what is going on? Myra, I thought you said, Myra, let me tell y'all something. I don't know what's going on with the family, but all I know is the family is here and they having a great, are oh, you back, Myra G? We have a great time. What is she doing now? Are we still alive, man? Y'all got to delete my whole scene. Push cut. Oh, they going to edit that deal. Do me a favor. Family, would y'all do me a, a, a favor? Look at Myra G. Everybody look at Myra G. Family. Okay. Family, look at Myra G. Repeat after me. Come. Cool. Get. Yo. People. Come get your people, y'all. It's all about the Black and White beat, Black and White Ball Weekend. And it's a great experience, y'all. This is my first time coming, and it's a very great experience. And that's what it is, okay? <laughs> Girl, my name is Mr. Gary. Hey, Mr. Gary is a lovely, lovely man. Okay. Pre-owned, peace of mind, Motor Trends certified vehicles exclusively at every Bomberito location. What do you say? What do you say? It's Mr. Gary. It's a black and white ball weekend. I'm in Columbia, Missouri, y'all, where it's all going down. They say, Mr. Gary, you got to come up. You got to see. It's homecoming time. I said, well, wait a minute. Homecoming, Mizzou, black and gold, that's usually like the last week in October. They say, no, nah, Mr. Gary, it's another kind of reunion. I said, what kind of reunion is? And you said? Black and white ball. How you doing, sir? You said, how am I doing? I'm yeah. doing good. All right. And what is that black and white ball? What is your name? You know me, man. It's TV, man. Go with it. <laughs> you, we, we TV, you supposed to act like... Huh? <laughs> Do me a favor. Repeat after me, y'all. Come, Come get, get yo, yo people. people. That's what the black and white ball is all about. Let me tell you something. I knew you when you was a little quiet guy. Yeah. Tracy is your mama. Yeah, one of my daddy. That's yeah. all my guy, man. Hey, listen. I understand that you grew up and you're a barber now. Is that right? Yeah. Send a shout out to everybody right now. What's up, man? My name is... 
I've been from Columbia a long time, man. I'm still here, man. I'm a barber diamond cuz. Come holler at me, man. Come holler at your people. Who do I have right here with me? Hey, my name is Kiana. Hold on one second. What? Let me tell y'all something. <laughs> it doesn't make a difference. Where we at, they want to take Mr. Gary's microphone. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Go on, Gary. Girl, go on, girl. My name is Kiana. I am a blogger from here in All Columbia. Right, blogger from here in yes. Columbia. Yes. Make sure you check out my website, www.mothermother.com. Mother lover. Yeah, mother mother. Mother. Mother mother. Mother. M-U-V-A. Mother mother. Mother, mother. <laughs> yes. Mother mother. And mother, mother. mother mother. You can always count on mother. You know why, mother? <laughs> why? Because mama got some skin. <laughs> mama, what you doing with the skin game, girl? What is this about? Uh, I wanted to get some for me and for my son. Okay, mm -hmm. okay, okay. Now you say you're a blogger here in Columbia. Yes, yes. What, what do you blog about up in Columbia? So my blog's about lifestyle and motherhood. My style and motherhood. Yes, do yes. Do a lot of people follow your blog? Uh, I don't know exactly. I hope so. I get a, a few hundred views. Hold on one second. Excuse me, sir. Could you come in for a second? Just come in. <laughs> I'm trying to understand how did we start this out? I had three people. Uh -huh. I had one over there. I had him over there. I had you over here. Oh, no. And, like, he went over there. He went over there. <laughs> he went over there. He went over there. You came over here. And then you came back over here. What is really good with the people up here, man? What is your name? Brandon. Brandon, what is going on with you? I'm chilling. I'm enjoying myself like everybody else. Oh, my God. <laughs> hey, Brandon. A lot of times, even in St. Louis, even in the Boot Hill of Missouri, in Kentucky, in Illinois, in Arkansas, every place that we go, they say the young people don't want nothing. The young people just getting turned up and they just out of control. We see a young guy like you. What do you have to say to the people about that? Tell people to mind their business, man, and just look out for them. <laughs> Too short. That's all we can do is spend our money and let it come back. I mean, understand that generation, the generations is different, and I just embrace the younger ones. I mean, I ain't that young. I'm, two, I'm almost 30. So, mm -hmm. with, oh, that, okay. with that said, like, it's just, you know, let them do their thing, and when they bump their head, they'll come back. But what if they think ain't a good thing? Well, then, they'll, consequences. They'll learn. They'll learn. They'll learn. Okay, well, let me tell y'all something. We the Feel Good Show. We've been on now going on six years, right? Okay. But all we do is support all the good stuff that's great and good. And this is what I want to tell everybody. Like your man said here, let them do their thing. But to make sure it's the right thing. I want you all to understand, when we look at the people that's out today, you see that it's all generations. They represent you when they step out that door. It's all about family. It's about the aunts. It's about the uncles. It's about the cousins. It's about the neighbors. Making sure that they look out for you. So what do you say? What do you say? I got the blogger and I got Brandon here. They just doing their thing. Doing our thing. Doing y'all thing. All doing our thing. Do. That's all we can yeah. do. Okay. <laughs> okay. What do you say? What do you say? It's Mr. Gary the King of Hospitality. We're in Columbia. It's a black and white ball weekend. We got one of Columbia's finest. I got your people. Tell everybody who we have with us. Roy Love Lady. Roy, what's going on with you? What's good? Not much, not much, not much. Now what is all this about the black and white ball weekend? They throw a lot of black and white balls. Are they catching balls? What is this about? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you just made me laugh. Okay, but the black and white ball is like a gathering of class reunions. It's basically like um, it started way back when when um, the schools and stuff was separated, like black and white. And this was like a class reunion. Right. Um, so they had theirs, and this is uh, uh, the symbolic black one. And okay. it, they just continue it every four years. Every four years. The every black four and white years. Ball. Yes. So you knew this growing up all the way from a little guy. <laughs> um, no, I didn't, because I'm not originally from here. But I, I took time to educate myself. Okay, well, how old was you when you came here? Uh, 17. That's a little guy. I don't know. <laughs> you might be young, but you ready. Okay, Roy? I'm ready. Oh, my God. Wait, listen. <laughs> People are asleep on Columbia because they don't understand. It's a lot that goes on here. If someone was looking right now and they say Columbia, Missouri, one thing, what would you want them to know about Columbia? Up and coming. Up and coming. Up and coming. Up and coming. And what, tell us, everybody, what you do up here. Um, I'm a hairstylist. Yeah. I own a salon. I also have a dance studio. Okay. And I'm a cosmetology instructor. Okay. So you teach dance? Yes, I do. Okay, do a pose. Strike something for us. Oh, no. No, but just do something. You're talking about you. you can you strike a pose? Uh-uh. Do a Vogue move? Let's do no. a Vogue move together. One, two, three. Vogue. One, two, three. Vogue. Okay. <laughs> okay.
What do you say what he says, Mr. Gary the King of hospitality? Let me tell you what I love about being here for the Black and White Ball Weekend. You understand? Because you get a chance to run into some of this and some of that. And you can also run into your people, to your family members. How you doing, sir? What's up, GB? That's all good. It's all good. First of all, when you come on my show, my name is not GB. Gary Boyd. I mean, it's not Gary Boyd. Mr. Gary Mr. Boyd. Mr. Gary and heavy on Mr. I'm the king of hospitality. Because you know why? Because I got on a crown and I got a scepter. Right on. And when you see me with a crown and a scepter, that makes me a king. Just like when I see you with a beer. What does that make you? A drinker. <laughs> Let me tell y'all something. <laughs> Let me tell you what it makes you. It makes you no good, dirty, low down. You know what I'm talking about? Let me tell you why I said it. Look, they Look, say no, I have a drinking no, problem. No, no. Let me tell but you I have what, no problem no, drinking. No, Let me tell you. Yes, nothing. <laughs> Let me tell you what your problem is. Your problem is you came to St. Louis. Right. Off this beautiful, beautiful girl with you. You married her in St. Louis. Yes. And you did not even invite the king of hospitality. Can y'all believe that? Can, what, what was you thinking about? I did. No, no, you didn't. What? Stop it. No, stop it. See, I said, well, you coming to my wedding, invite Gary Boyd. And he was like, okay, I got you. And then Wells shows up without Mr. Gary Boyd. You want to go say hi to my wife? She's here. It's one at every family. Somebody didn't invite you to the family reunion. They didn't invite you to the wedding. They didn't invite you to the funeral because they needed some help paying for it. Right? And they're going to show up and act like everything is just all cool and all good. Really? Sir, you on the show. Yes, sir. Pay attention while I talk bad my about man, you. My man. Let me tell you something. <laughs> what I do know is this. That's what family is for. Hey, get over your stuff that you got going on Love with the people. Family. You may end up not talking to your aunt, to your uncle, to your brother, to your sister, to your mother, your father. It's time to pick the phone up, y'all. It's time to let that stuff just get go up. on and go. And guess what? The fact that he didn't invite me to the wedding, that's okay. You know that's why? Love. That's because love. he just, it's love and you ain't getting no gift. And I'm going <laughs> to tell you like this. All my family, they all already know I give good gifts. So you know what? Is it okay if I give you my gift now? I don't. Can I give it to you now? Is it okay? My man. Is it okay? My man. Is it okay? Gonna, okay gonna is it okay? You're going to pass it. It gets Nathan. Okay. <laughs> okay. How dare you not going to invite my me man. to the wedding? No. And GB, my man, and my family and all that. Uh, you're going to come to the, the 20th anniversary ceremony. Repeat after me. Look in the camera. Come. 20th anniversary ceremony. Repeat after me. Gary Boyd is invited. Come. Mr. Gary Boyd. Come. Come 20th anniversary. Come. Amen. Repeat. Repeat me. Come. Come. Get. Get. Yo. Yo. People. People. Let me ask y'all something. <laughs> now watch this. This is what happened when the family try to get all up in your business like they know what's going on. How you doing, sir? What do you say? What do you say? What do you say? Let me tell you something. This man just <laughs> said that he told you to invite me to the wedding. And you. Uh, stop it, sir. Would you stop it? This is TV. Now you're lying. Why didn't you invite me to his wedding? Well, I didn't know about his wedding. I didn't even get invited you to his wedding. Saying? So you understand what I'm saying? So and it's supposed to be your no, people for real. But for real, I had two thousand dollars. How many people did you invite I, to the It people? was like ten. I can't feed all y'all. Come get your people. I was, okay. I can't feed all y'all. I had two thousand dollars. Come get your people. Black and white ball, 2019, <laughs> Columbia, Missouri. Okay. Okay. What do you say? What he says, Mr. Gary. I'm in St. Louis. I'm not in St. Louis. I'm in Columbia, Missouri. But let me tell you why I feel like I'm in St. Louis. Because I'm looking like I'm with the St. Louis people. Yes, it's so St. Louis, baby. Thank you. St. Louis. Salute, baby. Stand up and make some noise. Hey, listen, who do we have with us right now? I'm Cindy from So St. Louis. Okay, we're from in So St. Louis. Blackjack. Blackjack, Missouri. Yes. Girl, what you doing up at the black and white ball? Selling. Selling. I make sauces, jewelry, tutus. And you come all the way up to Columbia to sell? Yes. How'd you find out they had something going on, girl? Because I've been I've been a Columbia native. Oh my God. For over 20 years. So you a Como? No, I ain't no Como. <laughs> I'm a, I'm the Lou. I'm uh -oh. the Lou. I'm just telling you. I'm just telling you. I'm not being disrespectful. Let me wait. A minute. Stop it. Stop it. One thing about me, I'm never gonna be disrespectful. What do they call the people from Columbia? I don't know. I'm from St. Louis, sir, and I only talk in the St. Louis style of language all times. <laughs> Ask a Colombian, what do they call them? I can tell you they call them Comos. Columbia Missourians. Yeah, and, they, and I'm from St. Louis. Right, girl, Miss, from St. Louis. What's your name? I'm from St. Louis. Well, I have several.
couple names. They call me Tasha, Tasha, Taisha, aka BKA, doing the most all day. <laughs> you got your ass for it and you got it, right? Let me it tell y'all right something. There. I you heard Tasha, 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 tomato, and You got it right there first. Oh my God. What is all this fun about up here for you? All this is about family. I have never attended the Black and White Ball or any of this. Um, and when I was younger, I always wanted to come. So this this go round, me and my girls just hopped on a ride on the road, and we came heading here from Houston, Texas, oh and we God. came here and had a ball. I had just haven't seen my family, just being able to be around family and feel some love. Will you be back? I will be back. Oh Definitely God. be back. They gonna come back now. How you doing over here, a little bit? I'm blessed. I'm blessed. You keep looking at me. What's going on? I just want to look at you. You just want to look at me? Yeah. Well, I tell you what, you never know how good you look until you had your picture took. Take a picture, baby, right now. Look at us. Ain't we pretty? Hey, y'all. Now, you say, I seen you. You say you seen me someplace before. I saw you somewhere. Where you from? My, I'm from Independence, Missouri, Columbia. I'm a Como You're originally. A Como. Okay, I'm right. born at Boone County Hospital. Out of Boone County Hospital. <laughs> what does it mean for you to come back and see all your people? Oh, man. I can't see all my people. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I might see them, but I can't talk to all of them because most of them are related to me. Oh, my God. I've got six last names. About six, six last, last names that were related what? to yeah, me. Give me some names. I got the Crosses. Uh-huh. I got the Hickams. Yeah. I got the Turners, the Johnsons, yeah. uh -huh. the Wooleries, uh-huh. Uh, the Richardsons. Uh-huh. How many more you want? Well, I'll tell you what I want. <laughs> I want everybody to pay attention to this right now. All of us got people, y'all. And all you got to do is get with the elders of the family and talk to them. And they will end up telling you. Ooh, I know a lady you need to talk to. Uh, who I need to talk to? My daddy's classmate, okay. Miss Nettie Lee, I think. Okay, let me is. tell you who I need to talk to right now. I need to talk to the people that's watching the show. I'm up here trying to talk to the people, and you up here talking about, I know who you want to talk to. You need to talk to my daddy. But... <laughs> See, what about what about you to San? What about you to Columbia from St. Louis? When you want to tell you what? Yeah. What about you watch the show in St. Louis, right? Yes. So you know when I show up, the people show out. Yeah, all the time. And I they, see. You know <laughs> they they what, really be clowning. Okay, let me tell you what they said. They say, Mr. Gary, you got to get up to Columbia. You got to get to the Black and White Ball Weekend. Oh. Well, y'all know I ain't nothing but the truth. And let me tell you something. The show is driven by Bomberito Automotive. This is a great time for us to say shout out to Bomberito. You understand? Bomberito. St. Louis, love you. In the back. Let's lean, y'all. Oh, now watch me whip. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm on my way. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let me say what he says to Mr. Gary. And right now, we know that everybody's going through a lot. And we want to let you know that Save a Life's got your back. Hey, they are in the neighborhood doing good, and they got you on hookup. They've got your hand sanitizer, they got your tissues, they got your towels. And they got great attitudes. They got people who are anxiously waiting for you to come and shop with them because you all make the difference. So what do you say what he says, Mr. Gary? Save a lot. You got to shop, okay? And life is better when you save a lot. Okay. Hey, now, hello, on, man. How you doing? I, well, let me tell you something. I was doing okay. Yeah. Until I came down and saw what's going on here, I'm really doing okay. Okay, now. it's big time right Can now. Can you tell me what made you think, growing up as a young boy, that you yeah. could come and take over the city like this? What was you thinking about? Yeah, man, you know, I was just trying to be me, man. You know, I, you know, start making people laugh around the city, you yeah. know what I'm saying? You never know what's going to happen, but, you know, just working, being dedicated to uh, the craft, what it yeah. is I do. Yes, uh, um, but I just feel that love from my town, man. Yes, so. Yes, so, so for uh, people to recognize me like this and put a name on the street, like I, like I said in there, you know, you know names like Cool Papa Bell and these kind of things, and you, you recognize that that people grow up knowing these kind of folks, and so yeah, yeah. I just really appreciate but that. You know, I honor they, that, man. They kind of folks. Yeah, man. So, okay, we're gonna give you a real quick lightning round. Okay. I'm gonna say it, and you're gonna tell me what you think about it. Yeah. Ooey gooey, but ooey gooey, ooey gooey, but just good, just, just, just good. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Where is it? Steakhouse, St. Louis. Yeah, come on, where's? Let's go. Okay. Chinaman, St. Louis. I, I need some of that. Like, Ain't food, young gravy, all that. St. Paul, St. They don't do that nowhere else in the world. Sarah Lou. Sarah Lou, give me some scrimps. Let's go right there. <laughs> and Playboy Cappuccino. Come on, all oh, the Playboy Cappuccino, man. And more shrimp, more chicken, big plates, a lot of good drinks. You know what I'm saying? And, I know all these spots, and man. And what you know about London and Sun? Come on, man. I know London now. Oh. <laughs> 
Yeah, I, used be, yeah, yeah. I used to be a Mr. London backyard. I know that too. Oh my this. Cedric, finally, there's somebody watching at home right now, some young people. They say, you know what? I want to do it. I'm inspired. Take them to school. Tell them what they need to do. Hey, you know, just believe in yourself. It's one step at a time. You don't have to, you know, you don't have to go to another city. Start right here. Believe in what it is. Love what you do. Go up and do it every day. Don't worry about being rich. Don't worry about getting money. Just do it because you love it, and then the opportunity is going to open up. And that's how you get, that's one step at a time. That's how you go. You know what's interesting, yeah. entertainer? You must be our people. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. St. Louis, make some noise, St. Louis! Yeah. Okay? Okay. Finally, you can buy a pre owned vehicle worry free with peace of mind. Motor Trend certified vehicles powered by Bomarita. It's a comprehensive nationwide warranty that covers engine, powertrain, brakes, and electrical, AC, suspension, electronics, and more on cars up to 100,000 miles at no extra charge. The best backed pre owned vehicles in America are Motor Trend certified vehicles powered by Bomarita. Now at every Bomarito location or 24-7 at Bomarito.com. What do you say? What do you say? It's Mr. Gary the King of Hospitality. There's no place like your place. And guess what? I'm in your place now. I'm in mid-Missouri, Columbia, Jeff City, and all the surrounding areas. We're the only reality show storing you and your people. When I show up, the people show out. You may say, Mr. Gary, what does it mean when you say them, your people? Well, guess what? It's just what I said. Them, your people. Who are your people? Is it your people at church? Is it your family? Is it your neighbors? Guess what? Is it your loved one? Whoever it is, it's them, your people. And right about now, our reality check is what we need to be doing right now is spreading love, spreading love, spreading love. Hey, what the world needs now is love, sweet love. It's the only thing, the only thing that you need to think about, and that's how we got through it and how we continue to get through it. So what do you say? What do you say? It's Mr. Gary, the King of Hospitality. I'm here to spread love, spread love, spread love. And when I spread love, I'm going to do it with you and your people. For the same rate as a 12 credit hour load. Don't let the rising cost of college bog you down. Harris Stowe State University, the most affordable bachelor's degree in the state of Missouri. What do you say? What do you say? It's Mr. Gary. When I show up, the people show out. All the way from St. Louis, I got your people. Who do I have with me? Carmel. Hey, Miss Carmel, what's going on? Hey, I just came down here to the Sykeston boot here, Rogio, because I love Sykeston. Oh my God, it's something you know a little bit about Sykeston, don't I you? I do indeed. My grandson lives here. Oh my God. Yes. But guess what? But you're a St. Louis girl, aren't you? I am indeed. Oh my God. I am indeed. What do you say to everybody who watches and sees different things going on, but they don't step out of their comfort zone to come? The rodeo girl, who would ever thought she was a rodeo girl? Let me tell you, I am not a rodeo girl, but there's so much going on here in Sykeston. There's the restaurants, the Trode Roll restaurant, and you know, there's so much going on. There, everything in, in Sykeston is popping now. Oh my God, well, everything else in it Sykeston is, is popping. Mm -hmm. It's popping all over, and I want you to get out of your comfort zone. Get out of your box and come down, and guess what? You might even just ride one of the bulls, or you might go to Lambert's and get a roll thrown at you. There you okay? Go. Yes. <laughs> okay.